Hi guys, welcome to my channel. I'm Maddie. I'm a reseller on eBay, Poshmark, and Mercari. And in today's video, we are doing a ship with me. Surprisingly, I have eight eBay sales. I was just saying that eBay is dead and then eBay is alive again. It's up and running. Now, to be frank, none of those sales are anything spectacular. I am a bulk bread and butter reseller, so just keep your expectations realistic. I have one Poshmark sale. I was just saying that Poshmark was doing good, and now Poshmark's plummeting. Isn't that weird how it works? Like, seriously, do these apps like talk to each other? Like, I'm gonna be really good this week, you be really good this week, but like never can they overlap, for me at least. And then surprisingly, we have a pinch hitter in here. We have someone in here who never comes in, and that would be Curtsy. If you guys are unfamiliar with the Curtsy app, I would definitely familiarize yourself with it. I can definitely make a video about Curtsy if you guys would like, but honestly, it's super, super basic. Basically, you can go to Curtsy's app and it will sync with your Poshmark closet. You don't have to put in your Poshmark password or anything like that. It will upload all of your Poshmark listings. You don't need a third-party app like Vendu or List Perfectly or Curtsy. And then as your items sell on Poshmark, they also are deleted off of Curtsy automatically. Basically, it's just like completely synced with Poshmark. It normally takes about 24 hours to update. And it is literally the app where you leave it and then whatever sells, sells. You don't have to share things. You don't really have to interact with the community. So in that aspect, it's really good, but it is a smaller community. So I have been on Curtsy since the end of January and I've only made three sales, but you know what? They come out of nowhere. I get a text alert whenever I make a sale on Curtsy and I'm like, what number is this? And then I look at it and it's like, you've made a sale on Curtsy to blah, blah, blah. And I'm like, okay, cool. So the first item that we are going to ship is actually going to be our Curtsy item. This item is sold for $32. This is a J. Crew dress. This is a new-ish J. Crew tag. This is a size extra small. It's got this ruffled detail all throughout. It's tiered. And it's gonna hit at a midi length. I know a lot of people don't like picking up J. Crew, but I knew that this would do well because it's a midi length, it's a neutral, and I just had a good feeling about it. So I did get this for 99 cents. So I did make a pretty good profit on this. The culture on curtsy, I'm getting some tissue paper here to wrap this up with. The culture on curtsy is that you do offer free shipping. So this is a lighter weight item. So free shipping is not a big deal. I think my earnings were $23 even after the shipping label. You can buy the shipping label on curtsy, which is what I did. And it's just a very user-friendly, very easy app to use. Like I said, really the only downside is that not a lot of people are on there, but Everyone's complaining about Poshmark and how it's gone downhill, so maybe everyone can eventually flock over to Curtsy. Now, it is all wrapped up in our tissue paper. It looks good. I am going to have to use my own mailer here. I cannot use the United States Postal Mailer, so I'm going to use an eBay mailer. This is what I have, and honestly, I say this in every video. I have never in my life gotten a complaint from someone on, like, Mercari or Poshmark for using eBay mailers and eBay tape. No one's ever confused. I think they're just so happy when they open up their item that it is as described that they don't really care about the packaging material. On the bottom of the curtsy label, it will even say curtsy. So really easy to remember. I did have to screenshot the curtsy label after I got it on their website to print it out with my Dymo printer, which is how I have to utilize Mercari's printing as well because it doesn't like automatically upload. So I screenshot it, cropped the label how I wanted it, and then did it that way. Moving on to my one Poshmark sale. I did have one sale on Poshmark. It was a 99 cent fine. This is by The Gap. These are a high-rise skinny camo pair of jeans. They've got like the cargo pockets on the side. And I got these, like I said, for just 99 cents. Gap is not something I would pay up for except maybe like a blazer or maybe a cashmere sweater. These only ended up selling for $12, but I did get these in January. So it was a relatively quick flip, which is what I like. I am going to put this in my favorite free shipping envelope. This is the padded flat rate envelope that you can order online. 
I do not know what is going on, but my eBay store is on fire right now. I just got on to print out the labels and I saw I had an offer for $14 on this Draper James dress and I accepted it. So I'm not going to ship that out on camera because I do need to wait for the person to put in their payment. We know how eBay is. Sometimes people do not actually pay even though they sent an offer. That happened to me earlier this week is someone sent me an offer on a Banana Republic shirt. It was like a $10 offer, no big deal. I accepted the offer and then literally less than 30 minutes later, they sent in a cancellation request because they said they accidentally ordered the item. Not a big deal, things like that. It's like literally just wipe it away, get over it. All is good. For eBay, I do need a shipping scale. So this is just like a food scale that I have. You just need something that can tell you how much your item weighs when it is all packaged up. I'm going to also use tissue paper, same as how I did for the other items. First item that we're shipping out sold for $19. This is Hardtail. This is an activewear line and they are known for their tie-dye pieces. This is a very oversized netted tie-dye shirt. This was in a size extra small, but honestly it could probably fit up to like a medium. This ended up selling after just a few months. I listed this in December. Like I said, it did sell for $19. I did have free shipping on this item. I do have free shipping on certain items on eBay, just something I play around with. And this should be very lightweight to ship. By no means do you have to do free shipping on eBay. So again, I am going to use an eBay mailer. I get these with my quarterly credits. I just ordered the more mailers with my quarterly credit for the first quarter of this year. I'm going to slide this in here. And then I always do like to err on the side of caution whenever I am closing it with the adhesive is I always want to leave just a little bit of room so that the person doesn't cut into their item. You can see there's a good amount of room there. Weighing it now that it's all packaged, it weighs 7.8 ounces. I'm going to round that up to 8 ounces when I input it into eBay. I do buy my shipping labels on eBay. I don't go through a third party app like Pirate Ship. And it's only going to cost $4.47 to ship. The next item to sell on eBay is a shirt dress. This is by the brand Roberta Roller Rabbit. This is an old tag. This is a brand that can be sold at Anthropology. The new tag just says Roller Rabbit and it's more of like a bubbly print than that cursive. I listed this in February and it sold really quickly for $17. This piece was not one of the better roller rabbit pieces. If you can find like a matching set or a maxi dress, you can get like upwards of $50. But this was a pretty see-through, non-substantial piece. So I felt okay with $17. The buyer did pay for shipping on this. And it should be pretty lightweight to ship. So again, I am just packaging this up into an eBay mailer, of course, leaving room. This weighs 5.1 ounces, going to put it in as 6 ounces, and it is going to go USPS Ground Advantage. It costs $4.55 to ship, and I charged the buyer $5.75, so I did make just a little bit off of their shipping. The next eBay sale that I have is an Old Navy piece. Old Navy is a brand I will pretty much always pick up for $0.99. Cents. This only sold for $9. It is the classic shirt. This is in a size large. I like to get Old Navy whenever it is my $0.99 cent day as long as it has a pattern on it or I do really well with chambray pieces. And a lot of the times I like to get them because I sell a lot of bundles on Poshmark and this is a great bundle piece. But occasionally I will do these one-off sales typically on eBay where they do sell for a little bit of a lower price point. But that's okay for me. I really like Old Navy personally. I know it's never going to sell for a lot. But it just kind of is one of those brands that I have a hard time leaving behind. And I am a super fast lister. So listing things that aren't going to sell for that much doesn't really bother me. I just like to have listings up. And if I can get something for 99 cents, I can sell pretty much anything. 
This weighs 4.9 ounces, rounding it up to 5 ounces, and it's going to cost $4.47 to ship. I did charge the buyer $5.75, so I made over a dollar on their shipping. The next piece we have is a Torrid blouse. I really don't even like picking up Torrid for 99 cents anymore. It's like something I hesitate with, which makes me so sad because Torrid used to be one of my favorite bread and butter brands. This is also in a size double zero if you guys can see that. Torrid does use vanity sizing, so this is equivalent to a standard size medium. And that's not really idealistic for Torrid because Torrid, as you guys may or may not know, is a plus size brand. So this is one of the smaller sizes. This ended up selling for $14. I've had this for a few months. So I am definitely happy to be moving it. But Torrid's definitely one that I am not really on board with anymore. Like I said, if it's a pattern like this, I'll probably get it for 99 cents, but everything by Torrid has been sitting for me lately, including the shoes, which used to do really well for me. So let's go ahead and weigh this. This weighs 5.9 ounces, rounding it up to six ounces, and it's gonna cost $4.47 to ship. And I overcharged on this. It's the buyer $6.76. So I did make over $2 on shipping. Normally I only refund the buyer if it's like a super substantial amount, like four to $5. Otherwise it just goes with your profit. Next up we have a Savannah Jane piece. This is a brand I like to pick up if it's plus size, I will pay up for it. Otherwise it's just going to be a 99 cent find. I got this in January. This is in a size small, but it is definitely oversized. This ended up selling for $15. Savannah Jane used to do a lot better, but I definitely have noticed it sitting around a little bit longer and a decline. So like I said, unless you can find a good, vibrant, plus size piece, I probably would just either get it at the bins or 99 cent day. This weighs 4.4 ounces, rounding that up to five ounces. It's going USPS Ground Advantage, and it's gonna cost $4.43 to ship. I charged the buyer $6.74. I guess I didn't say this earlier, but I do use just a flat rate shipping. I don't do calculated shipping. It's really up to you. Just experiment around with it. Once you have been shipping on eBay for a while, you kind of get to know like how much your item weighs, what you should be charging the buyer. And occasionally you may under or overcharge someone, but it pretty much all balances out. At least that's my experience. Next up, we actually have a book that we're shipping out. This is the rom Commerce by Catherine Center. I won this on a Goodreads giveaway. It is an ARC, which is an advanced reader's copy. So I read it. I didn't honestly think it was that good, but I don't really like like cheesy romance books personally. So honestly, I'm not sure if you're really supposed to sell ARCs, but I mean, I sell pretty much all of my books, so I did sell this. It sold really quickly when I put it on eBay because this book actually does not come out until June of this year, so they are getting in a little bit early. Typically, books like this that are going to be bestsellers, that are going to be a little bit more popular, you can't really get that much money because a lot of them are produce so you can normally only sell them for like three dollars but since this is an arc i just priced it at twelve dollars and i thought that that was fair they bought it immediately so i probably could have priced it up but i'm helping a fellow bibliophile out here i am going to just put this in a regular ebay mailer this is a very floppy very soft book so I know that it'll be fine. Whenever I order books online, they just arrive in mailers like this and they're always fine. This weighs 12 ounces exactly. I'm still gonna put it in as 13 just to be safe. Sometimes scales are different. This is going to go media mail and this costs $4.13 to ship. I charge the buyer $4.25. So if you are unfamiliar with media mail, it does look different. It says media mail and then it has this X right here. This next item I have had since March of last year. So it has been a while. The brand on this is called Lorna Jane. 
There's really no distinct marks on here to indicate that they are Lorna Jane except for, there we go. This is the Lorna Jane symbol. I knew that it was Lorna Jane when I saw it at the thrift store because my mom used to teach aerobics. So I know a lot of activewear lines through her. And I got these for 99 cents. Lorna Jane is definitely one that has already diluted. It's not doing very well, but for 99 cents, I still will pick it up because there is a following. You just have to kind of be okay with waiting. This ended up selling for $17.50. These were in a size extra small. And again, these are going to be very lightweight. I always like to ship things that are a little bit heavier on Poshmark since they have such great rates and you don't really have to think about weighing it or anything. Whereas on eBay, you know, the heavier it is, the more it's going to cost to ship out. So this weighs 8.1 ounces. I'm going to round up to nine ounces. It's gonna cost $5.32 to ship and I had free shipping on this. And the last sale in this video is something I've had since December of 2022. So it has been quite a long time. And it is this vintage piece. I don't really dabble with vintage much anymore because I just clearly don't know what I'm doing. This is the brand Leslie Fay. I see this all the time. This is a size six petite. There's shoulder pads. There's a belt that goes with it that matches. Like it is like your vintage teacher's dress. It's a nice ditzy floral pattern. It is going to be a maxi to mini length depending on how tall you are. And unfortunately it did only sell for $14 after waiting around forever. But honestly, I'm kind of okay with that because there's something just magical in my mind about vintage pieces, especially because it's like you're saving it from a landfill. I think a lot of vintage pieces are better quality than what we produce now. Now we have so much fast fashion and I do side eye people a little bit whenever I see that they're shopping at Shein still or that they're promoting Shein, especially when I know that they're like an influencer that's making good money and they're promoting Shein or shopping over there. It's just, it's kind of gross. I have a few Shein pieces myself and when I first started in my professional career at 22, I definitely did kind of fall subject to Shein because you're like, it's so affordable. And then I did some more research and I just, I saw how things were being made and how people were being exploited in the sweatshops. And I just can no longer stomach shopping on Shein, even if the prices are really good. Plus just from like a sustainability standpoint, like you wear it once you wash it and then i would say like 90 percent of the time the clothes either shrink or they fall apart or it's just not very good quality but this dress this vintage dress it does weigh 12.7 ounces rounding that up to 13 ounces it's going to cost six dollars and 16 cents to ship so that is all of my shipments for today let me know in the comments down below how have your sales been lately are you like me where nothing is in harmony and you have one platform just completely taking over is everything at a standstill or hopefully this is your answer hopefully all of your platforms are doing fantastic if you did enjoy this video please do make sure that you hit the subscribe button and the thumbs up thank you for watching and i will see you guys next video bye